let's say you have 2x to the negative first times 3x all to the third over 5x squared to the negative second. Okay, a couple things you can do here. Okay, since you've got things in parentheses and they're grouped, you can go ahead and move them as a whole group. And that's probably what I would do on this problem. I would just go ahead and say, okay, 2x to the negative first, that is all one group, so it's going to go down. Now it's going to be 2x just to the positive first. This 5x squared is raised to a negative power, so I'm going to move it up. 5x quantity, now it's a positive 2. And then this 3x cubed was already positive, so I don't need to move it. Okay, now let's evaluate a little some of this. Okay, so 5 squared is 25. That's the biggest mistake students forget, is they forget to square those coefficients. Then you end up with x squared times, well, 3 cubed is 27 times x cubed, all over 2 to the first power, because that's not going to change. It's just raised to the first. So let's do a little cleaning up. Notice we have an x, x to the second, x to the third. So on top, I'm going to have 25 times 27, which is going to be what? 625 plus 50, 675. So I'll, let me just write that down. 675, um, x to the fifth, all over 2x to the first. Okay, so now I can clean these x's up. And I still have 675 over 2, don't I? Because that won't divide evenly. But I only have an x to the fourth because I've just canceled out my exponents. x to the fifth over x to the first is x to the fourth because we're just simplifying that. So there is your final answer. And hopefully this video was helpful on helping you learn how to move negative exponents.